And we're back with the one, the only, Nathan Rich. Think about that for a second. Nathan Rich is back. He took some months off again. I love when he takes time off. I do. I understand though, Nathan. I understand. I take time off. I, um, I get burnt out. You know, it's a lot of work putting out these videos all the time, even though I simplify it to the point of literally just uh, filming and throwing the video up. I don't edit anymore. Just seems so irrelevant. Too busy with life. Too many things going on. But Nathan Rich is back. And you know what? He needs it again. You know what I'm talking about? He needs your money. He's back again. And he needs your money. Woo! Nathan Rich. Good times, Nathan. I remember last time you were in that stupid little park sitting there, your clean shaven head. Hmm, Nathan. Telling everybody that, oh, it's just not worth it. And if I'm gonna continue on with this channel, I'm gonna need some money. What a baby. And now he's back. And he's back and he's complaining again that he needs money. You know, I wanna make a point. But at first I want to say that I hate these YouTubers that disappear for months on end and then come back just begging for money. It's like, oh, the fucking rent due. <laughs> the rent must be due again. He's back. The rent's due. You can always tell when the fucking rent's due. You can tell when the pockets are getting light because then they come back and they ask for money always. But here's the thing. All these shills, these woo mouths, these losers, because that's what they are, they're losers. They come to my channel and they're like, <laughs> how much did the NED pay you? <laughs> how much did CNN pay you? <laughs> how about the CIA? How about Homeland Security? <laughs> how about USPS and FedEx? How much, how much did they pay you <laughs> to make these comments <laughs> about China? <laughs> and I'm like, shut the hell up. And I tell them this because it's quite simple. My country doesn't pay people for their opinions. Do you know why? Because most of us have morals. Most of us have standards. My morals, my standards are not for sale. Communism sucks. Xi Jinping sucks. And you can give me a thousand dollars. You can give me $10,000 a hundred thousand dollars. I'm not going to make a video telling you he's a great president. I'm not going to tell you that communism is wonderful. I'm not going to tell you that China's uh, uh, a political system is just amazing for foreigners and that everybody should move there. I'm not going to do it. My opinion is not for sale. My beliefs are not for sale. My morals are not for sale. And it's unfortunate because people like Barrett and Nathan Rich, their morals, their standards are for sale. And of course they know that the country of China is willing to pay them. And see, that's what I think is so funny is because these Wu Mao, these shills, they know that their country has a propaganda department. They know that they pay people to say and to do things. And they're so stupid. They're so stupid that they don't realize that they have this opinion and this idea that everyone does it. They think that everyone does it just because their shitty government is paying people to say good things about their country. They're under the impression that every country does it. No one pays me. For my opinion. I don't tell you. Things about China. Good or bad or ugly. For money. I will never. Quit making videos. And come back to my channel. And say. Hey guys. You gotta give me some money. Or it's over. The channel's done. The videos are done. You know why? Because I make these videos because that's what I've always done. I've been making videos on YouTube, my gosh, 
I made videos probably 15 years ago, 12 years ago, something like that on YouTube. When YouTube was first starting out and you did video responses, I, how long ago was that even? I don't even know anymore. Like, I remember when, like, The Amazing Atheist, because I talked about religion back then, it was just starting out, and he was a tiny channel, and I made videos. I didn't ask for money back then. I don't ask for money now. If you want to donate, thank you. I appreciate it. But you will never, ever, ever have to pay just to see a video of mine. You will never be threatened with the idea that if you don't pay, then you don't get my opinion. To be fair, if I create a product and use something physical in physical form or some sort of media that is, uh, you know, something for recreational purpose that is exclusive in content, then perhaps I would sell it. But I wouldn't force people into uh into buying it i wouldn't force people into the idea of a threat that if you don't buy it then there's no more i wouldn't do that there is no team of people here for me there's no team of people there for for nathan rich the idea that we need teams to make these videos is outrageous it's crazy we should be happy that our viewers watch our videos. We should be happy that people care about our opinions. And we shouldn't sell ourselves, our morals, our standards um, to people, but more importantly to governments. Morals and standards should never be sale, for sale to governments. That's the worst thing you can do. Especially communist ones with pretty much fucking dictators running them. That's pretty bad. That's, that's, that's really bad, you know, when you think about it. But our opinions should never be for sale. Our morals shouldn't be for sale. Our standards should not be for sale. And they never will be. And that's what's happening with the shills. Everything they do is for sale. The travels, all the things they say, the places they go, it's all paid for. It's all paid for. It's all, uh, some guanxi, maybe, you know, they scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. They may not always pay them directly in cash, but they'll pay for them to travel around and to do things as soon as they uh, say some nice things. Trust me, people weren't veggie dancing for free back then. I assure you, they were not doing that veggie dance for free. We've heard it numerous times in my videos, and you can watch my videos, and you can see where the shills admit that they're paid for their opinion, that they're sellouts, that they're traitors. That they're losers because that's what they are. They're sellouts. They're traitors against their own countries. And it's a horrible thing. That's why I feel so bad about people like Jia Yo because as an American, I could never turn my back on my country like that. I would never sell out America like that. And, um, you know, it's just... I see Nathan Rich come back and I feel bad for the guy. And I feel bad for the guy because even though he's he's gone through all this stuff in his life, right? He he talks he always wants people to feel sorry for him because he had, you know, maybe a shitty mom and then he went to some horrible cult, Scientology cult, and then uh he did drugs and went to jail and you know all this shit and he wants people to feel so bad for him. But then I look at him today and I'm like, you're still just a common criminal. You're still just a traitor. You're, you're still just uh, doing wrong things. You're taking money in. You're clearly, you know, the dude clearly doesn't pay his taxes on it, I'm sure. And uh, he's just very dishonest and deceitful. But he's very smart about being dishonest. He's very smart about being deceitful. And that's the thing is... Even today, even though he is uh, making videos and talking about stuff and he's telling people that he needs money, that's bullshit. He doesn't need your money. He doesn't put in these hard production. He's not renting cameras. He's not spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours 
of, of research. He's not spending hours and hours and hours of putting things together for production. That's bullshit. Nathan Rich doesn't need your money. Nathan Rich needs to get a fucking job. If he needs money that bad, get a fucking job, Nathan. Quit begging your people for money. And the reason that he has to beg people for money is because, like, two-thirds of his subs, if not more, are freaking bots. They're not real people. They don't actually give views. They don't actually give money. That's the reason he has to ask for it is so that his few donators that actually do support him wake up from their, like, hibernation. They're like, ah, ah, oh, shit. Nathan Rich, I forgot. Let me throw you some money so that we can have the same opinion, so that we can circle jerk each other and, uh, you know, echo chamber here on YouTube. Here, take 50 bucks, Nathan. And he's like, woo, time to make another nice video. Because that's how he is, you know. He's like this uh, trashy white guy. So either way, that's my opinion. Quit disappearing, Nathan, and quit telling people you need money. Get a job, you loser. Start a company. Do something. Get money on your own. Quit mooching off of everybody else. Like, comment, subscribe.